Hello out there to you. In this video, we are going to use some uh, price and cost data to find what a monopolist should produce, how many they should produce, and what price they should choose. So what we're really looking for is our profit maximizing uh, price. So there's some terms in here we need to recognize. Monopolist means a firm or a producer that has some price making ability. They don't have to take the market price. They can choose whatever the best price is for them. It says unregulated, it means the government will leave it alone. Non-discriminating means that everybody's gonna pay the same price um, regardless of who the customer is or how many the customer wants to buy. And we wanna maximize profits. So maximizing profits is a fancy term that we use for producing up until the last unit where our marginal revenue equals our marginal cost or said a different way we always want to produce when marginal revenue is greater than marginal cost but never any units when marginal revenue is below marginal cost or if marginal cost is higher than uh, marginal revenue so uh, what is marginal well marginal is the difference Okay, so anytime you got marginal revenue, it's the difference in total revenue divided by the difference in quantity. Now this one is pretty easy because you can see that the quantities are going up by one. Uh, same thing with, so we're just gonna divide by one there. So marginal cost is gonna be the change in total cost over the change in quantity. Again, it's gonna be divided by one. And these uh, triangles here, those mean those mean difference. So I'm gonna grab this, we're gonna use Google Sheets to do all this, and uh, let's do it. Okay, so here we are in Google Sheets. You could, you could do this by hand, but uh, Google Sheets is pretty efficient because then if you had a different, um, different, different quantity or different output or whatever, you could just, now you have the format to how to do this. So I'm gonna just copy that table there, price and then total, cost. So what I'm really looking for is marginal revenue and marginal cost. So I'm going to actually space this out. Actually, let's do it this way. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and instead of doing that, you saw me type that way. Um, what you can do is you could have, uh, it should be smart enough to recognize. Uh, one, whoops. One, two, it should be smart enough to recognize what it is that I'm doing. You gotta do it right there. All right, let's drag that down. There we go. So if you just drag that ball down a little bit, it'll it'll recognize what you're doing. So here's 500, 300, 250, 200, 150, and 100. Over here, 250, 260, 290. The reason you can't do that trick with this is because it's nonlinear. They're increasing at a uh, nonlinear rate. Now, uh, first I want total revenue, and total revenue is uh, price times quantity. So let's uh, let's actually insert a column. So what I did was I highlighted this, I right clicked, insert one column to I think the right. Nope, I wanted to go to the left. There we go. Now give me a blank one there. So now I've got total revenue. By the way, in economics, a lot of times instead of writing price, we're just gonna say P. And a lot of times, instead of writing total revenue, you'll see it written in just shorthand as TR. And instead of writing total cost, you'll often see it as TC, it means the same thing, okay? So total revenue, we're gonna write a formula, we're gonna hit equals, and it's this. And then to multiply, you use the little asterisk symbol there, right there, this times this. Hit enter, and it actually rec recognizes what I'm doing so I don't need to drag that down, but you, you could do that over and over again. So see, one times 300 is 300, two times 250 is 500. So I already did all that work for me, okay? Now I want uh, total cost. Well, we have total cost there, okay? So where you put marginal revenue is up to you. I'm gonna put it over here, marginal revenue, uh, or sometimes, you know, like the way I wrote it up here is MR, and then marginal cost. Uh, okay, so if you wanted to put marginal revenue right there and then put marginal cost next to it, it's up to you. I'm going to put them right next to each other so that we can find this a little bit easier. But um, so you, you actually don't have 
a marginal revenue or marginal cost at zero units because you're not coming from anywhere. It's the, it's the difference we're looking for. So for marginal revenue, it's going to be the difference between selling one unit and zero units. So it would be 300 minus zero. Now, technically, I'm going to put this in parentheses. I am going to divide it by the difference. And so if you want to divide, you hit that slash. Divided by the difference between here and here. Okay, so that'd be one minus zero, and you hit enter, and it already does all that work for me. Um, so you can see the difference here is 200, and the difference here, and these are positive, and then down here it's negative, so this is decreasing. Okay, then I'm going to do the same thing with marginal cost, except I'm actually going to skip that uh, step where I'm dividing by the quantity because. There's not really a point to it, so uh, I'm just going to say this minus this because I'm dividing by one. Okay, so um, okay, so now I have my marginal revenue, my marginal cost, and again you could do this in your head, but uh, it's, we're, we're using the spreadsheet to do this. So I want to produce everywhere where marginal revenue is higher than marginal cost. Okay, so the first unit. Marginal revenue is 300, marginal cost is, is 10. Now, if, if you get, kind of have trouble with this, um, you could you could say produce, right? You, you, and then you could say yes. Right? I sort of do this part in my head. Um, marginal revenue, marginal cost, marginal revenue is higher. Do I want to produce? Yes. And then marginal revenue is 100, marginal cost is 60. Do I want to produce? Yes. Now, at the fourth unit, marginal cost is 150, marginal revenue is zero. I don't want to produce that unit. No, I don't want to produce that unit. So the, the, right, the right answer for the quantity is three. Okay, I want to produce up to this point. And then the price, because I have a monopoly, uh, I'm going to charge 200. So the, the right answer to this one is that I'm going to produce three units and I'm going to charge a price of 200. Now, you can actually test this if you wanted to. You don't really need to because you're doing economics. But if you wanted to do it the accounting way, we could do profit. Okay, so we want maxim maximizing more profit. So profit is total revenue minus total cost. Okay, I don't really want you to do it this way, but this is just like a, a, a proof. Okay, so make no total revenue, total cost 250. I lose 250. Make 300 total revenue. Total cost of 260, I make positive 40. Well, that's good. Uh, now, if I do the second unit, I make positive 210. That's also good. Positive 250, that's in line with, with our profit maximization. Again, you don't have to do this step. This is just a proof for you accounting folks or if you're new to uh, microeconomics. Now, you still make a profit if you sell the fourth unit. It's just we don't make as big of a profit. That's like the whole point of a monopoly. They're going to cut back and they're going to charge more. Okay, and then you would never produce that fifth unit because the fifth unit, you're earning less total revenue anyway. So that wouldn't work. So um, then what you can do is now I, I can change the numbers, right? So uh, let's say the price went down by 100, right? So it's 400, uh, 200, uh, 150, 150, and then like, okay, no, that one doesn't matter. Uh, would that change my profit maximizing output? It would, because now I'd only produce two, charge a different price. Or if the price was different, if it was 600, um, 500, 400, 300. So you, could, you see how you, I'm changing this here. And, uh, and this one wouldn't change the answer because we still have the highest profit. But it, it does. it is changing over here too. So, or if you had different marginal costs, something like that. So that's why we make the spreadsheet. Or if you had more output or whatever. Okay, and that's how to use Google Sheets to set up a profit maximizing problem in a basic microeconomics course.